he made his entry into the world's sphere of influence when he was named the United Nations Secretary General in January of 1997, serving the world through major turmoil, including through the chaos of the U.S. war in Iraq, which he opposed. And today, Kenya joins the world in mourning the man who would become a household name in January and February of 2008 as Kenya struggled to recover its footing in the bitter power struggle between Mwai Kibaki's PNU and Raila Odinga's ODM. The 7th United Nations Secretary General died in the early hours of Saturday in hospital in Switzerland at the age of 80 years. So he put up with us, he was patient, he was calm, and it ended up well. Yeah. And we pay tribute to him and say may he rest in peace and Kenya shall forever remember him and be grateful to him. We want to condole with his family, with the people of Ghana, the people of Africa and the rest of the world, the loss of such a great son of the earth. Chairing the panel of African eminent persons that included the then Tanzanian president Jakaya Kikwete, former Tanzanian president Benjamin Mukapa, and former South African first lady Grasha Marshall, Kofi Annan played a crucial role in brokering a deal to end the Kenyan post-election violence truce that ushered in the Grand Coalition government. But we must pay tribute to the role Kofi Annan played, the pressure he took from all of us, our disagreements, you know, having to go through that. He's brought into a scene he's not familiar with. And here are people disagreeing about everything, in almost disagreeing about your names. It is this moment that probably permanently etched Anand's image on the minds of Kenyans who were watching that day on the 28th of February 2008. We do have a deal. But he was a much larger icon on the world stage too working energetically almost till his death as the head of Kofi Annan Foundation, whose singular pursuit was peace building. While leaders have mourned, Annan as an iconic diplomat with President Uhuru Kenyatta condoling with Kofi Annan's family and friends. Former President Daniel Moy, Deputy President William Ruto, among those who have sent their condolence messages. United Nations current boss Antonio Guterres describing Kofi Annan as the poster diplomat of the United Nations. In Ghana, Anand's native country, Ghanaian President Nana Akufu Addo declared a week of mourning in honor of Kofi Annan. Sam Guinness Citizen TV, Nairobi.